What's up, everybody, and welcome to Tuesday's episode of the Improv Gaming Gamescast here on YouTube.com slash Improv Gaming. I'm excited today. Wow, finally. Last week. <laughs> to, Low as fuck last week. Lowest, well, if they didn't, loud as fuck today. <laughs> if, they, if they didn't know, last week uh, we record very late, probably the latest we've ever recorded. We were go. Pardon me. God, I love this sound. Are you getting a phone call or a text? It's a phone call, but it was automatically blocked. I guess that was a spammer. If you didn't know, that happened last <laughs> week too, or it happened on the podcast it a week ago. Sometime, yeah. Where right in the beginning, your phone goes off. My phone never goes off. But if you missed last week, I uh, was very monotone, very low, shall I say, because we were recording late. But no, right now it is 4.45 Eastern Time, so I'm ready and willing to continue this show with my extreme personality. And I wouldn't be extreme without my... Don't do it. (laughs) Don't do it. He's going to do it. Puerto Rican pinata. That's racist on two levels. <laughs> I'm just, just pointing it out there. It's racist on two levels. Puerto Ricans don't use pinatas. We like them, just like anybody else, but we don't use pinatas. How is that racist, then? I'm saying they're... Because it's a Mexican thing. There's no such thing as a Puerto Rican pinata. That's like saying an American... French fry. Well, fun <laughs> history fact for you. When, you know, we had the problems with the French, we were going to call them, you know... Freedom fries. Freedom fries, yeah. not French fries. That's an FF fun fact for all you fans out there. But of course, he also has the best ponytail in the business. It's fabulous. Mr. Nicholas de Jesus. How's it going tonight, everybody? Today. Today. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Today being Tuesday. <laughs> I want to say how's it going, but I always say that, so I'm going to throw you a curveball. Curveball. Play Journey. That's not a curveball. I'm telling you to play Journey. Yeah, I know. I was downloading it while you were tell- talking to me about it. Really? Were you? No, Pete. That's not why I went on my phone the moment you said you got to play Journey. Well, let me do, uh, <laughs> dilute quick, very quickly. Uh, I played Journey yesterday. Um, and if you guys ever watched the show, I was not the biggest fan of Journey, but I said, you know what? It was free. I'm waiting for Gears of War, so let me pop in this two-hour experience. And what I did is I took my Turtle Beach headsets. I put the sound only to the Turtle Beach. I shut my light off, and I said, leave me the fuck alone to everybody in my house. And I enjoyed the hell out of it. It is an experience. Two hours. I mean, if you're a first-person crazy nut shooter fanatic, don't play this game. But if you are looking for an experience, and right now if you have a PlayStation 4 and you're seeing this... (coughs) Well, you, you already... Mi- no. If you're seeing this right at like midnight, you have probably about 10 hours to get Journey because PlayStation really doesn't update until about 11 a.m. Yeah, yeah. So if you're if, seeing this, it's kind of too late. Yeah, you, you may have a window if you see it early enough. And I don't think we get views at midnight, so... Some. No. no. I mean, we'll get views overnight, but, but when our videos post, we don't get immediate views. That's true. But if you didn't know, you can get the videos right away if you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like the video, because then you'll know exactly when the videos go up. Not that it really helps you, because it's already too late. It won't be too late. It'll be too late. We'll still have it's 10 gonna hours. It's going to be too late. It will still be 10 they're, hours. They're going to be too late. They're, they're going to be too late. Let me know in the comments if this video helped you obtain Journey. Well, I'm going to tell them on Sunday at the live <laughs> podcast that we do every Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, where you can come and chat with us, and we talk to you about the... Top news stories of the week. We also talk to you about the new releases and uh, topic of the show, whichever, you know. Whatever whatever we feel like it is. Whatever we feel. Yeah. Usually it could partake from the top stories. It could not partake from the top stories. He means pertain. It could pertain to, not partake of. Sassafras, sassafras, sassafras. They partake of water. Remember when I used to make up random words? Which pertains to hydration. You know when I make up random words? No, 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 you didn't make up a word. You used the word out of context. I know I did, <laughs> but not, I usually... That's not making up words. You know what? <laughs> I was kind of hoping that that droplet would have fallen on your phone. Like, a little bit. Just a tad? <laughs> Just a little Just a bit. tad? Just a little bit. And, if I haven't done so already, I will do it now. Allow me to introduce... 
like Caucasian cake. I don't. I don't. No, that's not going to be not, a thing. That's not, that's not going to be a thing. I can't do that. That doesn't work at all. That doesn't. Work. My host with the most, Mister. I'm wondering himself with the fedora at in tow. It's Mister. Peter Anderson. What's going on, guys? <laughs> with my host <laughs> the most. <laughs> that sounds a little kinky. I don't. Uh, whew. Five minutes. What a wait for us. But you already knew the rigmarole. Like I said, Tuesday, Thursday, Gamescast, about, 10, <coughs> about 15, 20 minutes where we talk about items, you know, a nice little bite chunk if you're on your way to work, if you're on break. It's a great way to listen to us. Also, Sunday we do a live show every Sunday, 6 p.m. That here on. anywhere from an hour to two hours to the rest of your day. So yeah. watch with caution. YouTube.com slash Improv Gaming. Uh, let's Plays are up. Check out FIFA. Um, check out. As promised. Yep. Monday night. I took a nap and then I was like, fuck, I gotta I'm pick this I'm thinking I might do up. a Let's Play of ReCore. Really? Did I'm you pick sure. it up yet? No. Did you download it yet? No. Have you done anything about ReCore? No. no. Proud of you. You should. I, you know what was funny? Wow, this is gonna be a fucking weird episode. We apologize, <laughs> but you, if you guys are, know us, you know how we work. You know what's funny? I was looking at the, the uh, description of the video uh-huh. and you, I think for today, for today's, what you will be seeing last week, which is Vita 2. Uh, it shows, you know, your description, and then it shows, you know, check us out on Twitch at yeah, Jaybird, and Jer- and Jeremy Jaybird, Stormer. Pete, and then, you know, you may not see it a lot, but when you do, <laughs> Nick, was, Nick is at ImprovCon, and yep. I was like, that's great. <laughs> at least he acknowledges <laughs> that he doesn't live stream as much. <coughs> oh, I mean, probably Jeremy would live stream more. Yeah, and, probably. And they're not they're right probably now. getting more followers on Jeremy's live stream right now just because of that. That's true. <laughs> so... Share us with your beautiful friends and tell them about this great little thing we got in improv gaming. So on to the topic at hand. Right? Yes. It's about time. It, yeah. <laughs> like beyond about time. Tuesday, today's episode is all about loyalty versus a new experience. Yes. Loyalty versus a new experience. So I bring up this topic because next week, Gears of War. Sorry. Sorry. Is everything all right? Yeah, that's fine. We're going to die? No, we're good. Okay. Will they hear that noise yes, in the video? Yes, probably. Oh, that's all. Awesome. This microphone picks up a lot. Does it really? It does. It picks up everything. I'm not going to whisper anymore. Remember when I whispered, Nick didn't think that it would pick up, but you know what, motherfuckers? It picked up. So now I'm going to whisper even shallower. No. <laughs> uh, so we talk, we're talking about loyalty versus a new experience because next week um, is Gears of War 4, my, one of my most anticipated games, of course. Uh-huh. Um so, where do you stand on this, Nick? Um, the, the reason that I kind of, like, was happy about this, this topic is because, as you know, I'm a huge Metal Gear Solid fan. Huge! Right? So, am I going to remain loyal to that brand, or am I going to experience this new experience that Kojima is planning on showing the world? Okay. And the big question is, right, am I actually loyal to... The brand, or am I just loyal to the to the to the director? Kojima. Is it is it, is and, it and Kojima I, or is it Metal Gear? That. And I understand that, yeah. but really, he's supposed to be providing a new experience. And Online co op. Yeah, we've covered like, it's it. A, many it's times. supposed to be a brand new experience. So my my huge thing with this is is or my my biggest part of or contra- point of contribution is is that Metal Gear Solid was this great experience that I really enjoyed and I genuinely enjoyed for many years. Now, is Death Stranding going to be something that I'm going to take to, or is my experience with Metal Gear Solid really going to skew my looks uh, when it comes to Death Stranding and how I view that? Because I've already been introduced to another art from another another piece of art from this artist, per se, and now I have to look at. Uh, now I'm seeing a new a new franchise being built off of this artist and. Is my is my previous experience? Well, you were that. you were very skeptical when we were talking about it. You could check that out as the podcast one on September eighteenth. We talk about all about the Kojima's game and a couple of news stories for topic of the uh, top news stories a week. So check that out. That's on the eighteenth of September if you have not already. But you were very skeptical on it. I mean, when we talked about it, and I feel like you still once you see gameplay. You'll be much more But down who knows it. if I'll ever really get gameplay, right? Like, Kojima has this history of not showing us gameplay until, like, the last minute. 
So so who knows if I'll even get the, the gameplay that'll the spark whispers, my interest, yep. you know? So who Remember who, 2018, it's coming. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, it's coming. Sure, sure. Um, Pigs will fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hell will freeze over. Um, so I'm I'm very interested in what Kojima has to offer. So I'm I'm very uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Torn. You know. Okay. Um, Fair enough. Again, like I, I have no no loyalty to the Metal Gear franchise because Konami is going. I am more than sure that they're going to screw the pooch on that. But the Death Stranding is where I'm torn. Where does it stand for you? Like, the well, Gears of War being that, that... Being that they were developed originally by Quince Brzezinski and Epic Games, you know, and it was a great, great trilogy, you know. Yeah. Judgment it was there. Not taking anything away from Gears of War Judgment. It's there. But, of course, I'm talking about Gears 1, 2, and 3. Mm-hmm. Um, but a new experience being that it's now being developed by the Coalition, Rob uh, Ferguson, which he was a part of Epic and, Quin- and Cliff. So, you know, there's that... He knows what we're getting, you know. So it's not exactly a new experience per se because they still have Marcus Phoenix is going to be in the game to what capacity is still unknown, you Mm -hmm. know. You see him in the story trail or on the motorcycle. You see him fighting, you know. You see him with his um, son, J.D. Phoenix. So, you know, I think that the loyalty is there to the fans saying, hey, we are Gears of War 4. But, you know, we, we're doing our own new thing. We're having a new experience, bringing in these new characters being J.D. Phoenix and his squad. You know, after freaking E-Day, you know, which took place back in the Gears of War of old, you know? Yeah, yeah. But it's also showing the loyalty of having Marcus Phoenix. And, you know, I, I did see teasers of, you know, the coal train is coming yeah, back, yeah. you know? Obviously, certain characters will not be coming back if you played Gears of War. Um, you know, but you have Anna and you have all these characters. So I think that's a nice mix when you can have the loyalty of the old fan base, but you can also have its new experience. You know, it's a new horde mode with different abilities. It's a new, I felt a new multiplayer deathmatch, you know, similar to the old Gears of yeah. War, but with a nice little little take on it you know you also see you know um the enemies in gears of war 4 being able to pick up a lancer you know and being able to change and it's just these new dynamics and new experiences which is awesome for the franchise you know but also giving that loyalty back so when you say loyalty versus a new experience you know i love it when a developer is able to do both you know what i'm saying yes like, I, I bring up Guerrilla Games with Horizon Zero Dawn, you know. Will they be loyal to Guerrilla Games making this third-person open action adventure, you know, RPG-type game with um, a female protagonist? Or are they going to be pissed off because they want the loyalty of the Gears of the Kill Zone, yeah. the first-person, crazy, you know, in-your-face gameplay? Or are they gonna enjoy this new experience? <coughs> well, I don't. I don't think there's any. There's any love lost for Guerrilla Games moving off of Killzone because mm-hmm. I think I think the Killzone has been played a lot. Yeah, Killzone is just kind of like stagnant. Like yeah. the the franchise is stagnant. It's so, good. It's a good game. From, don't get me wrong. No, it is. But the 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 the, yeah. the 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 direction of that franchise was just going nowhere. It wasn't yep. anything special. There's been more Killzones. For the Vita or kills on one, two, three, you have mercenaries on the Vita. You have uh, Shadowfall PS4. You have all these things. When I feel Gears of War is a little bit more taken back, and especially this Gears of War being the first one on the new system on Xbox One, yeah, when Shadowfall no was on PS4 for Xbox. Yeah, there's no handheld platform. Yeah, of course. But still, you have you have. It's saturated the kill zone with well, all these been different things. PS2. Yeah, you had the PSP been, and yeah, everything. It's been, like it's been that. around forever. So I understand that, but I'm saying that. Um, no, I mean, there's no love loss from the fans. Like they, no. they're, they're just like, no, yeah, give us something new. Thank God. Yeah. You know, I think that's the general atmosphere around around uh, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Is, of course. Thank God, something else because you guys were really blowing at this first person shooter thing there's a there's you know what it is there's a loyalty until after a while they're like okay i want a new experience from you guys yeah similar to naughty dog you have these great great games in uncharted 
You have Uncharted 1, great game. Uncharted 2, blowing everything up. Being like, this is an amazing experience. Everybody should play Uncharted 2. Among Allegedly. Thieves. So, and, and, and certain people's respects. I, I still believe that they're overrated. But to you, yes, and we've had this. You can always check that out here on the channel, youtube.com slash improv gaming. Um, but you know, you have Uncharted 3, which is like, oh my god, more Uncharted. And then you get this new experience of The Last of Us. Yeah. And everybody is blown away. And Last of Us is still, into many people's eyes, one of the best games of the last decade. You know, Mm -hmm. you have these great, you know, you have these Halo combat evolve, and then you have Last of Us, which tells you an impactful story. It doesn't have to be gunplay, you know. Look at Journey. I just played Journey, like I was saying earlier. And that experience is amazing, you know. And that game studio that developed it made a new game, Abzu, if I'm correct. Let me know in the comments. I'm pretty sure. You know, trying to replicate what they did for Journey and... Not so much. Journey is like yeah. I hate to say it, is its own experience. Like I Well that's the other thing. I right? don't think like, I'll ever play Journey again because I had that experience I had that experience for two hours and that was like I don't need to yeah. experience it again. Similar to Gone Home. I experienced that gone home. Well, that's the way I feel about a lot of media, right? All you yeah. gotta do is ingest it once and take what you take from it. You don't have to watch it over and over mm-hmm. and over and over again to really appreciate it. It's that initial like the 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 example I can give is The Dark Knight, right? Everybody watched The Dark Knight like probably 340 times. Um, so did I. And I still, to this day, watch The Dark Knight over and over again. There is a poster right there. There is a poster behind me. Um, but do I have to watch The Dark Knight over and over again? No. No, I don't think so. I think I already got what I got from it. When I watch it and rewatch it, like I get the new little nuances here and there once in a while. At this point, like nothing really surprises me at all ever um after like the umpteenth time that i've watched it but um but the point being like that initial reaction to heath ledger's joker that initial reaction to the magic trick that initial reaction to harvey dent harvey dent uh, initial reaction to to flipping the coin the initial reaction to agents of chaos like that initial reaction to all those things are really the most potent and most powerful things that you're going to experience as a movie goer and not necessarily in that movie specifically like any movie you you look at that's the most the first time you see it is the most potent and powerful time that you're going to feel those experiences so the same thing goes for kind of for gaming right like journey is the one time experience Firewatch was that one time experience. I'm, I think I'm gonna purchase that in the next. You know, couple like days. those games were just that one time experience. So I'm good. I'm fine now. I don't need to watch it or play it. You don't need a Resident Evil Four where you can re- or for me at least replay thirty. Even times. Grand Theft Auto, I don't need to replay it. I already know the story. I played the story. I got the story, and that's it. I don't need to play Grand Theft Auto ever again. Even though the selling point of Grand Theft Auto is replayability and having this open world that you can explore at any at any whim. It's just, it's replayability. Well, if you checked out this past Sunday's episode of the podcast, we talk about the new DLC that came out for Grand Theft Auto V, the little biker gang. So if you want to get our thoughts on that, you can always check that out. So we're coming to a close, I think. Yes. We, uh, well, we sugared a little, a little, little bit yeah. in the beginning, but <laughs> the energy was good. I wanted to go with it. <coughs> I don't think you're going to disagree. Um, so what are your takes on the loyalty versus a new experience from developers? Um, do you like it? Do you want to see more of it? Do you want to say, no, I'm happy, I'm loyal to these guys, I want them to do exactly what they're good at, and I don't want them to differ? Example, like I said, being first-person shooters with Gorilla and now going into an open-world action-adventure. Yeah. but And then you have these similar things where it's a new experience from the Coalition with Gears of War 4, but you know you still have that loyalty with the characters of Marcus Phoenix, the Coltrane, so all that. Um, so thank you guys for watching this Tuesday's episode of the Gamescast here on YouTube.com slash Improv Gaming. As always, you know, you guys can always hit that subscribe button. You get the newest stuff right away. You can also check out the Let's Plays, example being FIFA 17. Had a lot of fun with that. Played the Real Madrid. Teased them in the video, you know. Yeah. Didn't hit goals a lot, but then towards the end, I was just <laughs> booming them in. So you can always check that out. Also remember our live Sunday show every Every Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time here at YouTube.com slash Improv Gaming where you can come watch, talk to us in the comments, give your thoughts. It's all about the top news stories. It's all about the new release of the week and topic of the show, whatever the fuck me and Nick decide to have. (laughs) So, all our 
what our social media is, is in the description below. So you can follow us all there. Twitter, Facebook, we're on everything. Maybe soon on Snapchat. Maybe. Who if knows? you're lucky. I don't know. If the people demand it, goddamn it, we'll deliver. And as always, game, game on. on.